Church family and all of our worldwide worshipers. My name is Diana Vining, and I'm here today to let you know that it's still a Good Friday. Today is a celebration of the greatest love story ever told. It came at the highest price anyone could give, and only one person could have done it, and that person is Jesus. When we think of something good or something that we celebrate, we rarely think of pain, we rarely think of suffering. But in John chapter 19, verses 22 through 42, it tells us exactly what happened on Good Friday. See, Jesus gave his life for all of us. He was accused of a crime he didn't commit. He was beat and wounded for something that he didn't do. He was hung on a cross for something he didn't do. He carried that cross up Golgatha's hill for something he didn't do. He hung between two thieves for something he didn't do. He suffered an agonizing death for something he didn't do. At any moment, he could have stopped everything. He could have had angels come down and rescue him. He could have said so many things, yet he chose not to say one word until he said these three powerful words. It is finished. Then he gave his life for us. And he already knew we wouldn't love him like we should. He already knew we wouldn't serve him like we should. He knew that some of us wouldn't serve him at all. Yet he freely gave his life so that we all could have eternal life. John chapter three, verse 16 tells us that God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that whoever believes in him will have everlasting life. Yeah, it's still a good Friday. In spite of all the things going on in the world right now, it's still a good Friday. In spite of that doctor's report you just got, guess what? It's still a good Friday. In spite of the hurt feelings you're having from the loss of a loved one, a divorce, your children are acting up, you have a, lost your job, your friends have betrayed you, it is still a good Friday because absolutely nothing can change what Jesus did for us that Friday on the cross. Nothing and no one will ever show you a greater love. It's still a good Friday because Jesus made it so. I pray that the words that you've heard today have blessed you. I pray that it's given you hope. And for those of you who don't know Jesus, I pray that you will ask him into your heart today so that you know and you will understand what I know. It's still a good Friday. Be blessed. Love you.